a soothing mix of water and steam, emanating throughout the air, both inside and outside buildings, relaxing the mind. This is just one of the many experiences you can have at Hot Springs National Park, one of the nation's smallest parks, but also one of its most interesting. Here are the facts about the history, nature, and attractions of this one-of-a-kind national park. While Yellowstone National Park in Wyoming may be the United States' first national park, created in 1872, Hot Springs was set aside by President Andrew Jackson as a protected area almost 40 years earlier in 1832. The land would eventually become a national park in 1921. However, there are many other stories and lives that were lived in the almost a century that passed between the protection of the area and an upgrade to national park status. Samuel Fordyce, for example, lived in the area starting in 1876, and while he was the owner of several major railroad companies, his biggest addition to the area came in the form of the Fordyce Bathhouse in 1915, perhaps built in part because of his experiences with the thermal waters, having sought them out after experiencing health problems after the Civil War. Many buildings and utilities in the town of Hot Springs, which is partially outside and surrounded by the park, were constructed under the guidance of Fordyce, and his legacy can still be seen today at the park's visitor center, which was renovated from its previous occupation as, you guessed it, Fordyce's bathhouse. Another bathhouse owner, Henry Rector, became governor of Arkansas in 1860 and led the state to secede from the Union right before the Civil War. During the war, Union forces won a series of well-fought battles in the northern part of the state, forcing Rector to flee the permanent capital of Little Rock in 1862 and placing the state capital at Hot Springs for two short months while the battles raged on in the north. Eventually, the state would be lost by the Confederates, with Little Rock falling for good in 1863 and the war ending two years later. But the city of Hot Springs can still take claim of their brief reign as the state's capital. There are many stories of successful business people or governors, but sometimes it is the unsung men and women of our national parks that deserve to get put in the spotlight. And such is the case with James A. Carey. Serving in the Navy during World War I, Carey entered the National Park Service in 1923, shortly after Hot Springs became a national park. He was a ranger who served Hot Springs for four years before being murdered by bootleggers in 1927 while patrolling in the park. Carey was the first park ranger to be killed on the job. And it stands as a reminder to all that the job of a park ranger is not one that should be taken lightly, and that the men and the women of the National Park Service have to protect our national parks from not only natural threats, but man-made threats as well. Many people help create the human history of the park, but what about the land itself? The rocks that would allow the thermal features seen in the park today to occur were formed around 400 million years ago, when the area was covered in a shallow ocean. When the land began to conform into the most recent geological supercontinent, Pangaea, the rocks conformed as well, transforming into the Washita Mountains still seen in the park today. As the mountains were formed, cracks in the rocks allowed water to seep into the ground, going several thousand feet into the earth. The water would follow roots carved by the shifting mountains, which would eventually lead it to resurface where the many bathhouses stand today, coming out at around 143 degrees Fahrenheit. The water also carries with it dissolved mineral from its underground journey, meaning when it resurfaces, the mineral solidify into a brand new type of rock, tufa, seen around the springs in the park. While the springs of the park's namesake, many other natural spectacles can be seen in the park's mountainous areas. Salamanders, frogs, and toads reside in the damp forests and small creeks winding their way through the landscape, while birds ranging from roadrunners and owls to hawks and hummingbirds fly over the scenic vistas and nest in the many species of trees and shrubs of the park. White-tailed deer frequent the park, and occasionally an elusive black bear might be spotted on one of the many quiet trails in the area. At night, bats come out and fly around both urban and forested portions of the landscape looking for insects to eat. Regardless of what time of year you come, the animals of Hot Springs National Park are plentiful and certainly a sight to see. Visitors to the park can enjoy a variety of activities at Hot Springs, whether it is taking a dip in one of the two still active bathhouses along the historic bathhouse row, or hiking the scenic sunset trail across the remote mountains of the park. For an aerial view of the park, take a drive to the Hot Spring Mountain Tower, a 216 foot tall structure that offers 360 degree panoramic views of the park and its surroundings. 
From the mineral-rich waters to the legendary people who made this park what it is, Hot Springs National Park is an exceptional place full of intrigue and delight to all visitors, showcasing the rich legacy of the best that the United States has to offer. We hope you found this video informative and would like to thank you for watching. We'll catch you next time.